Hello, I'm Midget Miner, and today we're doing something very different. You see, my survival world's great, okay? But I think doing the same thing every episode might be getting a bit dull, so we're gonna vary it. So we will still be continuing with our survival series, definitely. But I think people enjoy watching hardcore series, so we're going to try for the second time in my channel, not in just one month, I think, to make a new. Hardcore world, hardcore, oh, hardcore, hello. We're gonna call it Hardcore Run 2. Okay, hardcore, no cheats. Let's hope we get a good spawn. I'm looking forward to this. Let's see if we can at least beat the dragon. That, that should be our aim for this series. And I might add in a few tutorial videos as well along the way. We'll just see how we get on. For those of you who actually enjoy my survival series, and saw the title of this video. Don't worry, I'm definitely still carrying it on, but look at this. Okay, so we've got Spruce and Dark Oak. Dark Oak's quite an interesting one. We could make a house in the Dark Oak, but it would be quite challenging because there's a lot of mobs in there. Let's have a look around. We've got a Swamp over there. They often come with Dark Oak. Uh, oh, we've got Spruce. I see Spruce. So the first thing I'm going to do is gather all the basic resources, as I do on my first episode, and then we're going to have a look at where we want to base our base. I came up onto this mountain to get a better look around, I'm not going to lie. As far as hardcore series go, this is a pretty scary start. Two creepers and zombies. I mean, I know they can't reach me, so I should be absolutely fine. Alright, so this is what I've got so far. We have dark oak forest. Oh, there's mushrooms on a mountain. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. So we've got dark oak forest just here. And then we've got big mountain range, slap bang in the middle. We've got a spruce forest in that direction which is near spawn area a very small swamp just there a bit of a spruce biome which is well that's kind of just a mountain biome and i'm pretty sure that over this hill yep is a plains biome now plains are quite useful because they have a tendency to have villages in them so that's what i'm going to go looking for now just to give us a oh i need to be careful i forgot this is hard uh, just to give us a bit of my head starting resources. I mean, I can craft a bed, and we've got some decent food, but finding a big chunk of hay bales would be super useful. Oh, a ravine. No, not a ravine. It's just a very weird big cave. Okay, I mean, all the interesting biomes are in that direction, so I'll definitely be heading back over there. I just wanted to see if I could find a village first, because we want to settle near one. Wow, okay, we have come to a huge swamp. Well, <laughs> it's huge compared to the last one. And... A massive dark oak forest. This is weird. We've we've come from one and we've got one that I normally I, it takes ages to find a dark oak forest. Now we can't seem to stop finding them. There's a bit of lava fall over there. I'd really like to find a village. That would be a nice start to the series. I promise you we are not going round in circles, but I've come across yet another dark oak forest. If I don't find a woodland mansion this series, I'm gonna be very upset because that's the third biome over the space of what 200 blocks that's dark oak that we've come to and there's an outpost outpost means village if there's an outpost without a village that's just adding to the weirdness of this seed come on village i mean there's no village but there's plenty of illagers that doesn't make sense you can't have an outpost without a village that's outposts are four raiding villages right right I've kind of given up on a village, so we're just going to head into this cave and look for a bit of iron. Oh, that was quick. Okay, there's a big cave down there, but it's absolutely full I really would like that iron ore. So, I think what we're going to have to do is make ourselves a shield. Rush in, rush out. Alright, here we go. This is kind of a scary start. Woo! Wow, okay. That was a quick start. Um, anyone else want to kill me? There's a lot of iron in this cave. We're going to be rich after this. We're going to be pretty rich after this. Okay, that's most of it left up. Let's collect this iron, collect the coal, and get out of here and find a base. I have been on one and a half hearts far too many times in today's episode, and it's starting to get a bit worried. We are looking pretty good. Shield... Full iron, full iron, and 12 plus a 20 left over. We've finally got some flint and steel. Now, the flint 
I think just forgot to exist. I was literally there. So far this series, so good. Apart from the scary start, we have 54 iron. After, what? One day, two days, this is pretty cool. But we do need to find a place to call home, and I'm kind of deciding. Do I want to be in the Dark Oak Forest? Is that too risky for a hardcore series? But there's certainly a lot of Dark Oak Forests around. For 31 tries, until it actually gets... I don't even know what to say. Anyway, I see more pumpkins. And I think the swamp might be the place to settle. Hmm. I'll give it a think. I'll say I would really like to see maybe a jungle biome or a mesa biome or something like that. Something interesting. Wow, that's a lot of pumpkins. Hello. You know, I quite like this area. This sort of really long bay here. I like it a lot. I think this is going to be our base area. Sweet. So somewhere in the middle of there. But for now... We need to build a temporary house just offshore. We could do some kind of dock area base. I don't know. I'll think about it. I mean, we might not even survive past our starter house, so I don't want to make too many big plans, especially with the server coming up. I mean, three months seems like a long time, but when you're doing an episode a week, I might not be able to fit much of this server in. Ooh. I like this flat wall here. <laughs> that sounds really depressing. I like this flat wall. Like This is like a mini bay inside a bay. This is where we're building a house. I'm going to get to work. You know what? For the size of a starter house, I think that is pretty good. I think we're going to add some cobblestone or dark oak. We've got a lot of dark oak wood, actually. So we'll add some dark oak stairs here. Decorate this area. Add a few chests. And I will show you when I've finished. Okay, so I've managed to turn my Minecraft sounds off. Because after editing the last few clips, they were very muffled. Thanks to me eating raw chicken and various things like that. So this is what I've ended up with. It was pretty expensive on the floor and the ceiling. And it's actually, you know, it's nothing amazing, but I think it will do. For now, it will do. that. I use that phrase a lot in my build. It will do. So we're going to keep this as our small Minecraft starter base. Maybe have a little door out there, make a little outside area, perhaps. Maybe even have a room up there. I don't know. We'll expand it as time goes on, because I don't actually have a plan for a big base out there yet. But what we need to do next is what everyone does at the start of a series or a world. And that is, of course, go mining. So we're going to hop straight into a time lapse. Let's go. So, here's what we ended up with. Not the most productive, I'll admit. So we got uh, two and a half stacks of redstone-ish. Loads of coal. I don't know if you noticed in the time lapse, but I kept coming across massive veins of coal, which started to get a bit annoying, but I always mine through coal and kiss there's diamonds or something at the back, because through experience, I tend to miss them when I miss the coal veins. We got 55 iron ore, add that, so nearly a stack of iron, basically, and then that 20, so we're doing pretty well on the iron front. And then 24 gold as well, which is quite nice. We found lots of veins. Some were like one straight after the other for eight veins, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I'm thinking, I do have spare glass in case this doesn't work out, but I'm thinking, where's my wood? There it is. I'm thinking perhaps we have a door right here. How does that look? I like that. We do need to, in fact, you know what, we're going to do that right now. We need to make this into more of a, a hobbit holy shape, I guess. Just so it's not just like a glass window in the middle of nowhere. But we do need a door and then we'll have a kind of pierish thing coming out here where we can take boats and maybe have different custom islands. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. Hobbit hole. What I was going to say is, I think it looks okay. I think it looks alright. It's quite square and simple. I've added the trapdoors on because it was definitely looking too square. Done a bit of 
terraform, well I call it terraforming, I've just blobbed a bit of sand around here and there. Still looks pretty flat to be honest. So I'm going to get on with making the jetty type thing here which will again be quite a lot of wood because I'm going to make it, uh, actually no hang on I have a better plan. So this is the jetty that I've done. I've actually cheated a little bit down here because I didn't have enough wood to go all the way down to the bottom. It would have taken me a long time to get but uh, you kind of you kind of get the effect right and I've done it on a slab so that it's not quite in the water which I actually could have done with blocks but then it would have been hard to get up and that is pretty much it for everything I want to do today on the base but I really need to go and get some food there we go we've got ourselves some cooked is that all nope there's one in there some cooked pork chops which should last us seven should last us a decent amount of time now, I did say that was the last thing I wanted to do on my base, but I'm thinking a room out here, but we'll probably start that next episode. Uh, I think we're actually going to stop the video there. This is a 10 minute video, one of my shortest. I'd just like to get it out, the start of my hardcore series. Again, like I say, it's sort of going alongside of my survival series, so it's not meant to be my main series, so I won't be putting as much time to it. I'm also working on a collab video with my friend PTXG but I won't give any spoilers for that the first part will come out on his channel hopefully soon but I do hope you're looking forward to this hardcore series I hope I don't die by episode 3 because that would be yeah that that would not be good but anyway like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and I will catch you in the next one see ya